सो वी हैव फोकस्ड मोर ऑन दी अपियरेंस ऑफ हेमरेज ऑन सी टी स्कैन राइट बट नाउ दे इज एन इम्पॉर्टेंट वे इन विच एम आर आई शोज और रिवील्स दी वेरियस स्टेज ऑफ ब्लीड और हेमरेज विद इन द ब्रेन पैरेंकैमा right rather you know there are five stages in which any bleed or hemorrhage within the brain parenchyma can be classified so as if you look at the time at onset so when do you say that a bleed within the brain is hyper acute we say it is hyper acute if it is less than 24 hours from onset and what happens is that whenever there is a bleeding which is there at that site because it is fresh bleed right the most common type of hemoglobin in that particular bleed or the hematoma is usually oxyhemoglobin remember and it is this component why am i why am i telling you this is because this component is going to determine its appearance on t1 weighted image and t2 weighted image that is what we are trying to find out here when do you say that a bleed is an acute bleed say it is from 1 to 3 days when this oxyhemoglobin now becomes a deoxyhemoglobin then you say it is an acute stage of bleed if it is say around 3 days to 7 days so 3 to 7 days it is an early subacute bleed where this deoxyhemoglobin now becomes methemoglobin right meth methemoglobin but this right now is inside the cell so this is called intracellular methemoglobin as time passes this intracellular methemoglobin comes outside the cell this is called extra cellular methemoglobin right and this is when the duration of the bleed is around 7 to 14 days this is called late subacute bleed if the duration of the bleed is more than 14 days it is called as chronic bleed and what is the end product of a hemoglobin breakdown it is usually hemosiderin and that is how it remains at that particular site for months to years to go right now i can add to this table and tell you that on t1 then this hyperacute bleed will appear iso this uh, you know on t1 hyperacute bleed will appear iso intense on t2 it will appear hypo intense but don't you think this table has become a nightmare you know well enough till this point itself so if i add further more information to it it is going to get very difficult for you to remember it so we are not going to do that don't worry what i am going to use here is a very very interesting way you know of teaching and for you learning things and that is we are going to follow a visual based approach so how do we remember the appearance of various bleed stages on mri all i want you to remember is this number yes this number what is this number this number of 9 if you can remember this number of 9 right you will be able to remember the various appearances of mr of the bleed stages on mri yes so let us start let us see how this number 9 is going to help us let us try to form a visual impression let us go ahead so how are we going to remember this whatever i am telling you now just look at your screen carefully and try to form a visual impression we are just going to remember this difficult topic by using a few visual cues okay so i'm going to plot a graph for you okay now one important thing now for you those of you who have seen this video from my edition 5 or edition 6 or edition 6.5 videos i have used a slightly different system there i have tried to make it more simpler this time so i want you i want you to wipe your slate clean don't get this confused with the previous edition videos no this is a fresh edition this is a fresh video this is what i want you to remember all right so let us start i am going to gra you know plot a graph and on this graph i am going to plot the appearance of bleed on t1 weighted image on the y axis here and the appearance of the bleed on t2 weighted images on the x axis here okay so graph on the y axis you have appearance on t1 on the x axis you have appearance on t2 for the appearance on t1 we are going to use three descriptors whether it is hypo intense or dark iso intense or gray hyper intense or bright white for t2 we are going to use two descriptors hypo intense that is dark and hyper intense that is bright no iso intense thank god so one thing less to remember okay so simple graph 
ऑन वाई एक्सिस टी वन हाइपो आइसो हाइपर इंटेंस थ्री पॉइंटर्स ऑन एक्स एक्सिस टी टू अपियरेंस हाइपो एंड हाइपर डन एवरीबडी Yes. So now that we have plotted this graph, see, I just want you to remember five points on this graph, right? Quickly, this is point number one, point number two, point number three, point four, and point number five. Do you see the number nine there now? Yes. Let us do this again. Okay. Let us do this again. Come on. Let us do this together. We plot a graph, right? on the y axis right we plot the on the y axis we plot t1 on x axis we plot appearance on t2 for t1 we use three pointers hypo iso hyper intense appearance of bleed on x axis for t2 we draw only we use only two pointers hypo that is dark hyper that is bright now see how easy it becomes where is point number 1 it is here that is the hyper acute stage of the bleed don't remember how it looks like just remember the image that is going to give you the answer so one is hyper acute two is acute three is early sub acute four is late sub acute and five is chronic that's all just by remembering this image you will automatically remember the appearance no need to mug up the table right how good is this let us really test it out and see if we can make the diagnosis right so this is what we have done so this is what are the figure of 9 that i want you to know and now we are going to apply it so let us start with the first stage so what is the first stage right in the first stage in the hyper acute stage what is going to be the appearance on t1 it is going to be iso intense what is going to be the appearance on t2 it is going to be hyper intense isn't it now let us see here look at this particular image now what do we see in this particular image look at that graph look at this appearance on t1 and t2 tell me what is this appearance on t1 right this appearance on t1 over here this is the lesion we have identified the lesion first right look at h2o is bright on t2 so this is t2 h2o is dark on t1 this is t1 we know that basic identification now tell me how is the lesion appearing on t1 it is similar to the rest of the brain so it is iso so it is iso intense how is the lesion appearing on t2 it is appearing hyper intense it is bright as compared to this brain parenchyma it is bright so it is hyper intense so it is hyper intense just look at the plot here if a lesion is iso intense on t1 and hyper intense on t2 what stage of bleed it is it is a hyper acute stage just by looking at this particular graph you will be able to make that diagnosis so this is hyper acute stage okay yes now let us look at this one now see where is the lesion the lesion is over here the lesion is over here now look at h2o is bright on t2 so this is t2 h2o is dark on t1 this is t1 what is the appearance on t1 see most of this lesion most of this lesion except a small central part so let us neglect that small central part most of this lesion is appearing similar to that of the brain so what it is it is iso so it is iso intense but on t2 now see what is the appearance on t2 most of the lesion is appearing dark so the lesion is hypo intense right so the lesion is hypo intense come to the graph if a lesion is iso intense on t1 and hypo intense on t2 where are we we are at acute stage of bleed so what stage of bleed this is this is acute stage of bleed right just by looking at the graph we are able to make the diagnosis let us go to the next one now look at this now h2 is bright on t2 this is t2 h2 is dark on t1 this is t1 let us describe the appearance how is the bleed appearing on t1 obviously it is very bright so hyper intense so it is hyper intense there how is it appearing on t2 it is very dark so it is hypo intense right just look at the graph now if a lesion appears hyper intense on t1 and hypo intense on t2 what stage of bleed are we looking at we are looking at yes very good correct we are looking at the early sub acute stage we are looking at the early sub acute stage 
yes see how easy it becomes now let us try this over here look at this two images now this is csf is bright on t2 this is t2 csf is dark on t1 this is t1 i am highlighting the ventricles for you now let us describe the appearance how is the lesion appearing on t1 tell me it is appearing bright on t1 so this is hyper intense on t1 it is also appearing bright on t2 so it is hyper intense on t2 as well so a lesion is hyper intense on t1 it is also hyper intense on t2 which point is this we are at point number four here so what stage of bleed is it it is the late subacute stage of bleed hyper intense on t1 as well as t2 just imagine such a nightmare this would become if you just try to mug up hyper and hypo intense on t1 and t2 in all these five stages right so many different combinations impossible to remember just by using this graph and the letter 9 we are able to right remember it and solve and get the correct answer let us look at the next stage now watch very carefully how does this bleed appear see this is h2 csf is bright on t2 csf is dark see everywhere around the brain on t1 how does the bleed appear see the bleed is appearing dark here on t1 so this is hypo intense on t2 now i don't want you to get confused watch very carefully there is a definitely a central area here which is appearing bright but that is not the bleed that is the gliosis that is csf over there look at that border of that white area can you see this border that i am drawing now this border not the central part this border now look at it carefully it is appearing black what happens in a chronic bleed there is gliosis brain shrinks csf comes there but the margin where the hemosiderin actually is that margin is appearing black so it is also appearing hypo intense on t2 if it is hypo intense on t1 and hypo intense on t2 which point we are at we are in point number five what stage of bleed this is this is chronic stage of bleed do you get this just by remembering this graph graph y axis t1 x axis t2 on t1 we have used three pointers hypo intense iso intense hyper intense appearance on t2 only hypo intense dark hyper intense bright point number one is hyper acute bleed point number two is acute bleed point number three is early subacute bleed point number four is late subacute bleed and point number five is a chronic bleed that is all that you need to know remember this letter nine is going to help you remember all the different stages one two three four and five that is all that you need to know remember there is a saying a stitch in time saves nine but in this case in this video here is a nine that will going that is going to save a lot of your time and that my friends is the right way to shine and to achieve your success divine thank you thank you for that uh you know acknowledgement here is a little bit of a poet in me which is shining through this is a creative way of you know learning things and i am sure it will help you in remembering this complex topic